Omar Torrijos, president of Panama, was, uh, you know, one of my favorite people. I really, really liked him. He was very charismatic. He was a guy who really wanted to help his country. And when I tried to bribe him or corrupt him, he said, look, John, he called me Juanito. He said, look, Juanito, um, I don't need the money. What I really need is for my country to be treated fairly. I need for the United States to repay the debts that you owe my people for all the destruction you've done here. I need to be in a position where I can help other Latin American countries win their independence and, and, and be free of this, of this terrible presence from the north that you people are exploiting us so badly. I need to have the Panama Canal back in the hands of the Panamanian people. That's what I want. And so, leave me alone. Don't, you know, don't, try, to, don't try to bribe me. It was 1981, and in May, Jaime Roldos was assassinated. And Omar was very aware of this. Torrijos got his family together and he said, I'm probably next, but it's okay because I've done what I came here to do. I've renegotiated the canal. The canal will now be in our hands. He just finished negotiating the treaty with Jimmy Carter. In June of that same year, just a couple of months later, he also went down in an airplane crash which there's no question was executed by CIA-sponsored jackals. Tremendous amount of evidence that one of, that one of Torrijos' security guards handed him at the last moment as he was getting on the plane a tape recorder, a small tape recorder, that contained a bomb. I open the coolers. I don't, op I don't fly a cooler without opening it. I don't fly anything without opening it. Let me tell you why I don't fly coolers without opening them. I was told by Colby earlier that uh, Torrijos died simply because they put a uh, donor organ, uh, cooler marked donor, donor organs on his aircraft that blew up in flight. So whenever I see a cooler, I open that.